something very big is coming. What is coming? No, we haven't hit it yet. We have been going through big transition. We have been going through the Great Awakening. But there is something coming I want to share with you that's very different from what I've been talking about. And I think it can bring you great peace. And maybe you can shift gears and have an epiphany and look forward to an amazing future. Are you ready for it? I think you're going to love this. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through your fears and live an amazing life. And you're probably thinking, oh man, when's that going to happen, right? Okay, yes, the humidity is going up here in Florida. I'm going to talk about what we chose. I'm going to talk about what's coming and I want to share with you what can happen for you, for anybody who chooses it. It is a choice and it isn't something that has to happen to you. We are not in a world where we have things happening to us. We are in a world that we are creating. We don't believe it yet. Even those of you who are so awake and I know there's this little voice saying, but I'm doing all this and that's still happening, which means you're still not there yet. And I'm going to talk about that today because I'm going to explain how you can go into that space and feel very confident about what you're doing, the reality you're creating, the coming, what is it? Challenge. The coming challenge. What does that mean and how do you go into peace? Well, I'm going to just share with you right now. I moved from Atlanta to Florida. I don't know why I did it. A friend told me to come on down and I just picked up and moved everything. It just seemed right. I listened to my intuition a lot and I figured, what do I have to lose? Absolutely nothing. But most people don't live their lives like that. Of course, we have obligations and things that we have to take care of and that is good because that's part of your purpose. Sometimes you have to follow through with some of these commitments and that is absolutely a positive thing. Now, when I moved down to Florida, uh, you know, there are certain months here that are blistering hot. And so we're starting to go into that season. It's been beautiful. But I know that I chose Florida, and I know that I'm going to have a few months that are blistering hot. But the worst part for that, from that, is the humidity. If you don't have acceptance in your choices and realize no matter what you choose, no matter what, whether it's a job, relationship, place you live, there will be a balance of the positive, and I don't even want to say negative, the challenges that allow you to appreciate the good stuff. This is how it works. And I'm going to talk about what's coming because there are big things coming. Big things coming. We haven't hit, we haven't hit it yet. We've got, you're thinking, what? <laughs> this isn't it yet? Yeah, there are big things coming, but I want you to rest assured that you can sail through all of this. We chose planet Earth. Work with me here on this one. We chose planet Earth because we wanted to experience the contrast and be challenged by it. We wanted to know love because we cannot know it when we're in it all the time and never knew anything less. And that's when you go into a space where you understand what it's like for someone to have grown up without that. Now here's our challenge and our choice and what's coming. And this is what we have to be so steadfast with. We've been in a learning phase. What does that mean? We've been waking up. We've been learning that we aren't just the material world and what we get and our success and, you know, uh, how many things we can purchase. And we're now understanding that all of this, the consequences are that the planet is paying for that because we haven't put every others and it first. We're now shifting into, I talked about the big splits happening, we're shifting into those who haven't discovered that yet, don't really care about it, they're not ready yet, you know, the more we go into a higher frequency, the more they will tune into that. But right now, our assignment is for us, us, to challenge ourselves and 
move through those challenges with flying colors. How do you do that? Life is difficult. When you know this and you accept this, life stops being difficult. You are not the person that, that you see in the mirror. You are not a being that is confined to this planet or being punished or here just to go through the motions of the, the prison planet. This isn't, it's most, one of the most beautiful planets, but it is one of the most dense ones. So when you chose to come here, what you're doing right now is you are allowing yourself to know the contrast so that you can go into a space of peace with it because you know that you are absolutely perfect, unconditionally loved, and the more you give that to somebody else, the more we'll transform the entire planet. Now here's what's gonna come. Christ didn't stop teaching because he was being harassed and you know people were trying to kill him. He didn't stop, did he? This is how we have to function. This is how we have to function. He was demonstrating to the world that there's another way. And he was showing it. Did you know the Church of Christ, the organization that he had where he taught, and the disciples and others taught, there was no one leader. There was no one leader. Everyone had a voice. He made sure of that. And we have to go into everyone has a voice. We are still going into the uh, mindset that what I think is right and that you are wrong. That's not true. Everybody's right because they believe it. So if they believe it, it's true for their reality. And the respect that we have for one another will be our biggest challenge is to go into that and know that we cannot quit. So what's going to happen is the more things happen on this planet to test us, the more we will have to we will have to, it's coming. We will have to now know, A, we're awakened. A great awakening is happening. Many people are waking up. What does that mean? We know that we are conscious beings. We are no longer unconscious, functioning as separate people that uh, have conflict with one another. We're no longer arguing with one another. And if you're in that space and you're saying, here, you have to see this, you have to know this, well then, say, why, why? Because you're still wanting others to be and think like you. And you may not even realize you're doing that because you may think these are good things, right? So we have to snap out of that, right? We can assist one another without imposing things. And that is where we come together and collaborate because all of you have amazing skills and talents and personalities. And even if you're a shy person, that's still your ego uh, not wanting to you know, get out into the world. You can come out of that. You can change anything about yourself that you want to. Come on over. Take take my free uh, videos and take one of my courses, I teach you how to go into that power, how to use it, how you can change something with a thought. But most people, they have positive thoughts and most of the time are in negative thoughts. When you sign up for this free video series, you get a free mobile app, What Am I Manifesting? We've got to be on it. Big challenge coming is that we will see more and more the results of our past behavior it doesn't go away because until we change that uh, response or uh, how we function every day, unless we change that, it will continue to go down the road of destruction. And so we're cha we are changing it, okay? So don't, don't panic. You are indestructible. So here's what I want to do with you today. I want to help you to go into peace if you're not in peace or if you're in peace and you're still, you know, very sad about what's going on out there. That's normal. It is sad because what's sad is knowing that when you're awakened that they too can have that power, that they too can make higher choices and that they don't have to be afraid. It is, you know, it's saddening from a human standpoint. From a higher level, you realize they're just playing it out. They're beautiful light beings too. They're playing out that role. So what's going to happen now? The challenges that we're going to continually go through, we're going to unwind all of the foundations. And that's why I say, I always say the great reset because we're going to reset. It's great. We're going to reset in our way how things are going to function. And what is that? We're going to go into the world not quitting. We cannot quit. And we cannot succumb Two, the things that are going to test us, that are going to make us want to fight for things, 
or argue for things or separate ourselves from people that we think are uh, you know, less than. And it's just not true. They're our greatest teachers and this is your challenge is can you pass these tests of these people that are going to challenge you because that's part of the game here. And so how do you win the game? When you, when you don't go into that negative space and you stay up here consistent and persistent, you will affect that and so the playing field starts to raise because that love and compassion and no more condemnation of anyone or anything, just understanding that these are all choices in a world that we've been allowed free will, you will affect them with the quantum field so it's not a physical thing. All right, it becomes physical because we're dense. It takes a while to see results. You will see results. It's happening, it's coming. That is coming too, all right? But not if we sink into the separation. I can't express this enough. You know, Christ loved everyone no matter what and no matter what they did. So those of you who said, and it's understandable, I can't forgive the murderer or the abuser, Okay, and my answer, <laughs> my subscriber, my beautiful subscriber got upset with me and I said, then don't. <laughs> well, what, what did you say? I said, well, what I'm saying is you don't have to. If you're not ready to forgive, then don't. But know that the result of that is non-forgiveness. Have you ever done anything? Anything? Of course you have. We all have. It's part of our learning experience. So if you have gone into that space, I'm melting. If you've gone into that space, wouldn't you want to be loved no matter what? No matter what you've done, wouldn't you love somebody who maybe you even, you know, harmed, hurt their feelings to hug you and say, it's okay. I still love you anyways. This is what we must do. Yeah. Isn't, didn't that, doesn't that feel wonderful when somebody does that? It says, I love you anyways. And, and even, if, even if you didn't say, I'm sorry, it would change you, wouldn't it? You'd say, oh my gosh, wow. And then you might say, well, I did hurt this person, but they loved me anyways. This is what we must do. This will be your biggest challenge. And it's coming because you're going to have to go into that space or the world will not go shift into the new world for you. There will be a percentage of people on the planet that will experience it because they're going to be steadfast in their love and compassion. And they're going to feel it and know it. And they're going to see all the other stuff going on. So you don't get out of seeing the other stuff going on. Because you, you, you signed up for this. And you're supposed to be contributing to the high frequency. So you don't like, oh, now my world's okay. You know, I'm in the new earth. <laughs> Everything's wonderful. My hair looks perfect every day. <laughs> you know, no, no. You're in it. You're in it. So, so right? Can you relax now? Just say, okay. Oh, okay. So... I just have to continue to love and see everybody as perfect no matter what happens out there because if I remain steadfast in this and I accept that I signed up for some really painful stuff, the, the most challenging uh, point on our planet, in our planet's history, the most challenging, because now we have the ability to destroy ourselves very quickly <laughs> and it's been accumulating. We can end that, but not if you continue to argue with your neighbor. Can you collaborate? What's coming is going to test you like you wouldn't believe. And when you go into this space, you won't feel it. You won't feel it. Because you'll have no focus on it. You're going to be focused on the light and the love. And you're going to say, wow, I came here for this. Woo-wee! Okay, here we go. Strap on, you know, tighten up the seat belt. Get ready. Click, 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 click. We're going down and up and down and up. And you're going to say, here we go. Here's another one. How am I going to behave? Look back at the, um, the uh, health issues that we've had. How did you behave there? Were you fighting for your own rights, whether somebody else wanted it or not? Were you arguing or were you saying, okay, we must go down a pathway of peace and choice and freedom? Absolutely. But I'm going to tell you right now, there is a peaceful way of affecting other people with a power that you don't even realize you have. Some of you do. Come over to tap into your power. It's out now. And I teach you 
what the power is, how to use it. We have techniques and practices, meditations, and a journal, you journal it and you see your progress and then we review the progress again. We go through the whole thing to see where you are. Are you in expansion mode? Are you tapping into your power? Are you using it? How are you using it? Are you monitoring it every day? Because you, it will become second nature to you. All right, so if you go into the free, free video series or if you're already in it, you got a discount. I just released this as of this video. So what are you gonna do? Well, you can make a decision. It's all up to you. It isn't the world happening to you or they're the problem or it's the guys in position. You know, no one in those positions that you might be blaming are the problem. There has to be a village that follows it or supports it or carries through certain orders. And if there's no village, somebody's out in the woods by themselves alone and they can't survive very long that way. You're the village. How amazing, let's collaborate. It's coming, it's coming more of it. You can go into the state of saying, I, okay, I'm, I'm okay with this. So every time something happens, instead of you know going to fear or upset or blame, you say, okay, now, how do I go into a space of peace? How do I, I go into a space of making a difference? What do I send out there? Bless those who are the ones that you fear the most because they are the ones that need that hug to say, I love you anyways. This is what Christ did and Buddha and all the, the amazing, beautiful prophets out there that roamed the earth to show us that I can love you anyways. And when we do that, what else is there? No one can permeate that light. Darkness cannot enter light. Light can enter a room and obliterate darkness. So you have to be the light. Can you do that? Okay, so strap on your seatbelt. You're not gonna go into fear. It's not going to decimate you or anybody else. It's going to be the most beautiful, amazing challenge that will allow you to become something so uh, unimaginable as a human being. And your powers are going to increase and you're gonna see that and you're gonna be at peace with it and you'll no longer have to argue or even speak about anything. You're just going to be, and you're going to take the action and not participate in anything on a lower frequency. Go into my uh, free video series, and I do talk about that, how, how I, I help you to do that. I give you links where you can actually start using things in your house and on your body that'll raise your energy field and eliminate the toxins of the things so that you can become the amazing, beautiful light being that you are meant to be here, the Great Awakening. I hope you'll subscribe and share this. More people need to know that they need not fear. They hold amazing power. You can hold peace no matter what happens out there. And we're going into a golden era, I promise you, but not if you go into fear or separation. You won't experience that. So, free videos here for internet business training. This is free online information. Go create things online. Learn, get new skills. You know, empower yourself. No more criticisms. No more pointing fingers. Do or don't. You're whole and perfect. Strong and powerful. Loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my perfect, beautiful light being. Namaste.